All right, I got a surprising little trick that will help you build bigger shoulders. Dun -dun -dun. I found this tip on accident, how to make the shoulders bigger. All right, uh, it was inadvertently, I just came across it, it accidentally happened to me, all right? And this is important because when you build bigger shoulders, it's gonna give you that tape, you know what I'm saying? Help you look heroic, like a superhero. You know, and if you're a woman, bigger shoulders help you make your waist look smaller. Guys too, but like for women, you have your waist look smaller, you get the hourglass shape, you know what it is? The hourglass shape, you know what I'm talking about? So here's what happened. One day I was in the park, working out outside, and I, I saw this dude named Kit Richards, right? Kit Richards was doing body weight uh, exercises. You know, we all were, we were in a park working out, but he started doing freestanding handstand push-ups. And I was amazed. I couldn't believe that someone was just doing push-ups like that. So I became obsessed with that for like, for a long time until I got it. And initially, I couldn't even do a handstand, so I had to work on a handstand for like almost three months. Then once I was able to hold myself doing a handstand. I'll show you guys how to do that later in the video, how, how to do all this, you know what I'm saying, how you can work up to it, but just know I couldn't do it at first. So I was working on how to do a handstand. Then, once I got a handstand, it took a while to learn how to do an actual push-up doing it. And then, you know, I started doing it, and I would just do it every day, man. I just did it every day. And it, it kind of, the thing about it is I lose balance before I hit failure, so I'm never like going to failure or even getting close. So it's actually just more of a balance than it is strength. You know, look, I mean, it's core strength, but it's, it's more balanced than it is strength. And I'm, I'll teach you guys how to do it later in this video. But what I noticed, like learning how to do handstand push up, I saw, I started seeing stretch marks in my shoulders. You know what I mean? And I noticed that I was, my shoulders were just a little broader and more defined. And then, I'm like, oh man, my shoulders are bigger. This actually doesn't make sense because everything I had learned from being a personal trainer for so long said that you know, your muscles need rest. But my hypothesis is that low intensity frequently like every day low intensity but frequent low intensity actually help build the size i really think it actually helped build the size and you can see examples of this with gymnasts like gymnasts are all like huge arms huge muscles and they're shredded and they actually work the same body parts every day but they're not using like heavy weights not going to failure reps of six they're doing like it's, it's a lot of it is lower intensity body weight stuff but it's frequent. keep in mind i was still doing my normal shoulder workouts you know uh this is just something on top of it i just noticed the names but it wasn't just me uh when i met bella she could do a handstand but she was working on it she was really big into the uh body weight calisthenics community at that time and she started working on it and then over the period of time now she's great at it and, and her shoulders are like see she's like pretty broad up here and what happens is it makes her weight look smaller makes her actually hotter i think uh and then not just bella you know like the guy filming this guy behind the camera man the agent got johnny hey, johnny style hey make sure you follow him on youtube uh, i'm sure he'll take the liberty of tagging himself and putting his link in the description once before he uploads this. But he couldn't do a handstand when I met him either. But he had just been working on him, working on it because he was just, when people see you doing a handstand with them, you know, they're fucking, they want to do the shit, right? You know, like the same thing happened to me. Johnny saw me doing it, he wanted to do it. And he was suddenly working on it. And like his shoulders got bigger. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, Johnny, so you notice the shoulder got bigger? Way bigger. Way bigger. And it's just, in addition, but this is not in, in this is not to replace your normal uh, uh, shoulder workouts. This is in addition to it, right? And I don't know, man. This is something that, that I just noticed. Everyone who does it, everyone who gets to the point where they can do handstand push-ups has pretty broad, fine shoulders. You got Bella's you gotta do a handstand. You know, that's where you gotta start. Then you gotta start doing handstand push-ups. Then there's different versions of handstand push-ups. I'll teach you that after Bella teaches you the basics and just hold yourself. Hey, what's up, you guys? So if you want to achieve a handstand, First thing you gotta start with is warming up your wrist because you don't want any injuries in your wrist. In your wrist. So make sure it's so first, rotate your wrist one way, 15 seconds, switch in the opposite way. And once you do that, then you wanna move on to the floor. Place your hands like this, lean a little forward, so you stretch this part of your wrist. So that's 15 seconds and then 
which here you're not going to put any pressure, just hold it for a little while. So once your wrists are nice and warm, then you can move on to the wall. So a lot of people make this mistake starting kicking up with their back facing the wall, but what I want you to do is actually crawl up with your belly facing the wall and like that. You're going to achieve a handstand with the correct form, which is going to keep it straight. So at first you're going to do reps like this just to build technique first of all and also the muscles. So you can do these 10 times, take some breaks. All right, next up, once you kind of get the form down and you build your muscles, then you can try to kick up against the wall to see if you can start getting the balance by yourself. Because once you kick up, you try to kick yourself a little a little bit away from the wall and see if you can hold the handstand. So as you can see, I was kicking up with one leg. When you kick up with one leg, you're gonna have more control of your handstand. So make sure to kick up with one leg and go down with one leg as well. Make sure when you kick up, when you have your back towards the wall, that you keep your stomach engaged and tight and you squeeze your glutes like that, you're gonna have more control of your handstand and you're not gonna fall forward. So once you get this down and you start to be able to hold it for a little while off the wall, then you can move on to try to do it freestanding. Again, make sure to kick up with one leg. So first I'm just demonstrating a couple of handstands where it's kicking up and you can see how I actually also fall because that's one thing about handstands, not only you're going to learn how to kick up, but you also have to learn how to fall in your handstand. Alright, now once you get the actual handstand down, that, that took me three months to just get the handstand. I just worked on it every morning for three months. Then once you get that, you start the handstand. The first thing you need to do once you can hold a handstand is then you have to just actually work on pushing, lowering yourself. Like that's a different kind of balance. So first you just work on that. It might take you like weeks just to get the balance to be able to put yourself down and stay balanced, right? And then once you can do that, then you it might take you a few more weeks to be able to push yourself back up. It's just reps, like there's no magic to it. It's just practice. And you just do it over and over again. But that low intensity, like it's, it's not that much weight. Like I can over, overhead press more than that. It's the low intensity frequently that I think would help build like the mass, you know, uh, in addition to your, your regular weight training. Now listen, you're not going to be able to do any of this if you're overweight or if you're weak, right? If you're overweight, you're going to have to lose some body fat to, to do any of this stuff, right? And that's going to come from your diet. If you want to know the diet I've been using to get cut, stay lean, and put on muscle, you know, uh, check, click the link below. I got links to it. You learn all about it there. It's some free information for you. In addition to that, once you get the regular handstand push-ups, you can start doing some other stuff like tiger bend push-ups, clapping push-ups. Check it out. Clapping push-ups, we'll focus on that first. What you want to do with the clapping push-ups is come, go down and then bend your, your legs forward and then like use your legs to help the momentum and then clap in the air, all right? So first, just focus on this. First, just focus on actually you're gonna do pop-ups. So you're just gonna use your legs to pop up and now we're gonna do clapping. You're gonna come off the ground a little bit and hold it. Let's work on that first. Pop-ups. Pop-ups. And that's actually gonna help build the muscle because it's now it's more explosive, more plyometric. But it's also using your legs for momentum. Alright? That's one of the key. And then that's going to help you also get the balance. So we're going to pop up. Then when you can do like four or five in a row, you can start working on the clap. The clap is just like the pop up, but it's a higher pop. All right, it's a higher pop. Then clap them hands. Basically, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Like that. <laughs> and you can also work on what's called the tiger bend. That, that tiger bend is when you kind of drop to your elbows, you come forward, and then come up. There's different ways to do it. Some people go forward. Then drop the elbow, they go forward, they go up. That's the like the right way. <laughs> That's the, the tiger bit. Um, I'm a little tired right now. So I'll post a different video of me doing a bunch of them in a row. <laughs> but the key to that is keep, you're gonna wanna fall backwards. So you wanna keep your legs forward to help you not stay balanced. That, that, that's another three months of work. <laughs> like each one of these things is gonna take you like three months to get, you know, every day. But don't, don't, just, just take your time. It's not gonna happen overnight. 
but it's also gonna make your shoulders bigger. And it's just kind of a cool fucking parlor trick to have up your sleeve. You know, it's impressive. Uh, I've done it in gyms, and girls have come up to me, oh my God, that's so cool, you know? I'm like, oh yeah, thank you. I'm Brandon, by the way. What's your name? And then they're like, oh, I'm, I'm such and such awesome. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And then they're like, oh my God, do you have uh, Facebook? And I'm like, Facebook? I think I got a Facebook page. Like, you search me on there, see if you, I don't be on it much. And then it's like 1.6 million. And then, oh my God, you're like a little bit. Then they want to take pictures and shit. And then, um, helps, helps certain things. Like peacocking, pickup guys call it peacocking. Peacocking in the gym. And it also just, I don't know, it's athletic, right? Like, I, I think it's important to be able to control your body, right? Like, you can lift weights, but to have a mastery over your body, I think it's, 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 it's impressive. Um, it's not, it's certainly not some fucking assholes thinking, hey, I'll do that, I'll just lift water, I'll just do this. I don't know, bro, there's like tons of different ways. I'm just telling you one of the ways that me and my squad have used to get our shoulders big. There's tons of ways to do it. Listen, but make sure to do any of this, you're gonna have to lower the body fat that you're just gonna be. You wanna know about the diet I use to stay ripped and I'm able to build, being able to build muscle with this diet. Uh, click the link below, I have some free information for you. All right, peace.